Hi guys, welcome to your free market update for the 25th. Lee here from Trading College. Wow, what a day it was yesterday. You live for those days as a trader and um, it, there's never been a better time to be a trader. The volatility has increased, the VIX has spiked higher and we're seeing some fantastic ranges within FX pairs this morning in the European session and I'm certain it's you know it's going to continue probably for the rest of this week even longer but you know I've gone on Bloomberg CNBC and you listen to why people are saying the the market um, has had this flash crash yesterday and you know we've been talking about a market correction uh, for many months in fact from the end of March we've been looking for the top of this market and the market to roll over and let me let me tell you why and what I was looking for and I've been talking about for many many months now it feels like now on my chart here I've got the transportation index okay and I've also got the uh, weekly time frame of the Dow Jones industrial average here okay so transports and industrials now, if you take a look at the transports, now there's a little phenomenon that goes on, it's called Dow Theory, okay? And you may have seen my headlines in the newsletters a couple of months ago about Dow Theory kicking in here, because most of the time, and you know, I've looked back in history of charts and market corrections, and it's always led with Dow Theory. And, and what this means is that the transports in the industrials will sort of, um, uh, apart from each other, they won't trend together. As soon as they stop trending in the same direction, they diverge away from each other and that is a heads up and a signal that, that we may be coming into a market correction. Now, you can see the trend here on the transports, it's been nicely higher. You can see the trend here on the industrials, nicely higher. But in the end of March, something changes. And if you have a look, if I just bring this cursor here, and it's going to put a cursor on the left and on the right hand chart but you can start to see as on the transports we see some down weeks here okay and we start to turn red on the pro train system the actual chart on the right hand side still continues to go up even though it's going white white on our pro train system means low volume stay away from that market but you can see on the transports on the left that we're turning red and we're starting to push down now it's this week here this was the key week on the transports and this was the 22nd of May and we broke down here on the transports but if you look on the industrials on the right we were still at the highs and what you could see here as well is a divergence on the tr uh, on the industrials we had a what I call a three wave divergence okay very powerful sell or buy signal so we continue here the transports turn red drop below moving averages but the industrials are lagging now this is what happens on tops of markets you start to see the industrials and the transports start to break away from each other when you see that you know you're coming into a major market correction especially after a huge bull market like we've had this is the bull market everybody um, and nobody's wanted to like at all and then you see here on the transports that we are still we are below 20 period moving average and the 50 period moving average where we haven't really broken down too much on the industrials and so we get these big pushes lower here and when I saw this blue candlestick right in here on the transports this was telling me this 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 market really is going to come in for a major correction okay blue means short and we got the short on the transports on the weekly and it was a matter of time so you know we were looking at this at the end of March because of the transports and because of Dow theory okay and so it's been um, you know it's been a wonderful market to trade is it over certainly not I think volatility is still in play we're not going to get brave we're not going to start picking bottoms of this market we have still got plenty of volatility and plenty of opportunity um, uh, in these markets okay in the live trading room this morning uh, we were looking at the dollar CAD dollar yen the euro dollar and it's been a fascinating uh, days trading already all right guys now we do have the ultimate Forex apprenticeship uh, it is sold out for September we have closed the doors on that now we are taking bookings for October now if you go to the home page ultimate Forex apprenticeship click on that 
and that will take you to uh, the sign up page 17th and 18th of October is the next course this when you come to the page this will be not there anymore we are closed and fully booked for the September event guys if you want to come and learn about trading the market strategies how to use my base trading then I'm going to be showing you that on these events okay guys two days full of education and I'll tell you what it's never been a better time to be a trader uh, an investor no a broker maybe not you know your friend in the street who knows nothing about trading probably not um, the the best place to be really is to have the education as a trader because if you're nimble and you know what you're doing you can make a lot of money trading the markets in this environment speak to you soon take care